What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today we're going to be doing a pour through this loom and the colors we're going to be using are some colors I don't normally use ever. So we have a sap green, we have a light green, a titanium white, fluorescent orange. I have a little silver just in case I feel like adding some accents. All the colors are mixed two parts pour medium to one part paint. There's no Floetrol, there's no oil, there's no coconut milk hair serum in any of these colors. And with that, we're just gonna get going. So I wanna see what kind of interesting designs we can get through the loom. I don't think I've ever actually painted through one. So we're about to change that today. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing amazing. I'm over here living my best life with you guys. Every day I get to paint with you guys and it's a blessing. It's already creating some really interesting looking designs here. I really like it. And it might be good for our embellishments too, I don't know yet. We shall see. Let me put a little bit of this white. I have more mixed up over there if I need it. I don't want the whole design rolling underneath. There we go. Alright, let me make sure I'm not gonna drip. Like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, the fluorescent orange is a really nice color. I'm liking it a lot. So we do have less white, so now I'm going to be a little bit more careful with it. I'd rather not go have to pour it while we're doing this. So. Yeah, it's creating some really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. But I do love using the, the silicone oil. The coconut milk hair serum really creates really stunning effects that I love. Absolutely love. So what kind of pours would you guys like to see? With the whole taking it back to basic series, I would like to be able to cater to you guys a little bit more. Those of you that are a little newer and have a little bit less experience with pouring, I would, I would love to be able to serve you a video that would have value and help you. So what is it that you would like to see? I would love to hear from you. These lines are just so beautiful and then we're starting to get a very, very minor amount of blending towards the edges. It's very nice looking though. I'm going to add one single solitary line of silver, or I should say puddle. So we have a nice band of it that carries throughout the whole painting. Won't be the biggest band of silver ever, but it will be there nonetheless. Man, the fluorescent orange and the green is actually playing really nice together. Really pretty. haven't given much thought to what I'm going to do with the center of this once I lift the loom out. 
something I probably should have thought about. But I didn't, and that's okay. So we'll figure something out. Something I'm sure. Let me make these bands smaller and smaller. Because I already think I have an idea in my head that we can do. A tiny little straight pour right in the middle. Hope we'll be able to push these bands out. I might do the straight pour before I take the loom out. So that way I don't even have to mess with the center. So let me just layer a an extra cup really quick. Just don't even need that much because we're not covering much area. And that's probably enough. But I do want a little white on the top as well as the bottom. So hopefully we can get some some lightness coming through let's make it a nice little straight pour here and then the straight pour should start churning through the loom and on its way out of the loom those bars should cut it and leave us with something interesting. Kind of a nice blending from the very sharp lines to really tiny, delicate lines. And right now we've covered the center, but I do want to push this band of straight pour out just enough to where it's a noticeable transition between the two. And about when that white starts coming out, that's when I'll be wrapping up the straight pour part of this. We need some of that sharp white coming through. Slow the stream down, and there we go. And now I should be able to pick up this loom, put it in my cup of water. If I was a little more careful, the lines wouldn't have gotten moved, but highly caffeinated. All right, so a little extra paint, help it slide. There's no silicone in this, so it doesn't matter. And right now it's just excess, so I could seal it up if I really want, but there's no need. That looks so cool. I'm not even going to mess with it. I was going to grab my dotting tool and kind of mess around with it a little bit, but I think it'll just disturb it too much. So we're just going to go right to the spin. All right, here we go, guys. I want to start off gentle. Wow, that looks super cool just spinning around because it's very symmetrical. Ooh, okay. Yes, sir. I like that a lot. That looks really cool. And now, in hindsight, I'm thinking about the different embellishments I probably could have did to it. But for now, let me bring you guys down here so we can check this thing out. It's awesome. You have these super sharp, very well-defined lines all around the outside. And then the straight pour in the center, which came out really cool. Like a half and half. It's beautiful.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.